My name's Jorak Hunt, and this is Top 5 Skid Cars of 2023. Before we get into this video, I have to do a short disclaimer. This video is based on my opinion, which as we all know, is fact. So if the rankings in this video upset you, do me a favour and grow up. Now that that's over, let's get into it. The criteria for a skid car is as follows. It must be rear wheel drive and able to fry tyres. The following five cars will be based on cost, ability to perform a burnout, and ability to drift. I'm not here to fuck spiders, so let's get into it. Number five, the Tongan Taxi. The Tongan Taxi is a name given to a wide range of minivans, but for this video, we'll be focusing on the Toyota Tourago. You'll usually find the Tongan Taxi in the KFC drive-thru, ordering 15 family boxes but this car is an untapped drift missile. Most people may not know that the Toyota Tourago was rear wheel drive and even had the option of a manual gearbox, meaning they could perform tip-ins, circle work, and most importantly, drifting. And on top of that, the Tongan Taxi is also Mexican Hoon Cartel approved. And the best thing about the Toyota Tourago is the price. These days, an S15 is worth 10 times a Toyota Tourago, so it'd be rude not to. Number four, the Toyota Hilux Workmate. The Hilux Workmate is another car that has been approved by the Mexican Hoon Cartel. Unlike the Hilux SR5, the Workmate was rear wheel drive with a manual gearbox, meaning that from Saudi Arabia to South Australia, the Hilux Workmate is an all-time favourite skidder, and you can see why. Thanks to its low price and high amount of torque, it's a master of all three types of hoon driving. Those being tip-ins, burnouts, and street drifting. Number three, the Nissan Skyline R31, or as I like to call it, the Tight Asses VL Commodore. The R31 Skyline was rear wheel drive with an optional manual gearbox and looks like a toaster on wheels. But it is the only JDM car that costs less than an arm and a leg. So how could you say no? If there was no R31, these three ship boxes wouldn't exist. The R31 is a beast. Here in Australia, it came with the same engine as the VL Commodore. And you guys all know what that's capable of. So it's no surprise that the R31 is a beast when it comes to drifting, tip-ins, and whatever the fuck this is. Number two, the Holden Commodore, but specifically the VS. The VS Commodore isn't really known for drifting, but when it comes to tip-ins and burnouts, this thing is in a league of its own. Thanks to the ugly looks of the VS Commodore, these things are dirt cheap. And because they're rear wheel drive and relatively easy to find a factory manual, this car is one of the all time greats when it comes to skidders. But the best part about these cars is the Ecotec engine, or as I like to call it, the Holden Intec. These engines can handle almost as much abuse as the Ford Intec, but give it enough time, Uncle Rodney will always come knocking. Before we get into number one, here are a few honourable mentions. The Tesla Model S. Any rear wheel drive rental car. This van I found on YouTube. And the Hyundai XL. And now for number one. The best skid car ever made is the Toyota Supra. Psych! Yep, you guessed it. The best skid car ever made is the AU Falcon. The AU Falcon ticks every box. It's rear wheel drive, came with a manual gearbox, very reasonably priced, light as a feather, and looks that make me as hard as a rock. It's no surprise that the AU Falcon is the Mexican Hoon Cartel car of choice. From drifting, 
neutral bombs and rim bashing there's nothing the AU Falcon cannot do and thanks to the world's strongest engine the AU Falcon's performance is explosive meaning that the AU Falcon is unbeatable in every department and if you don't believe me just check out my first video link in the description